Imagine you wanted a car with 472 horsepower, 395 pound-feet of torque, with a big, fat 5-liter V8, and you wanted it to be Toyota-based, more importantly, coming from Lexus. Yeah, you don't have any choices anymore, only a few. And this is one of them. This is a brand spanking new Lexus IS 500 F Sport Performance. There you go. And isn't it stunning? They're great looking cars. I do prefer the GS over this, but they don't make it anymore. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of Lexus vehicles coming around the corner that no longer have V8s. Hell, we just did a video on the Lexus GX, and that one no longer has a V8 either. Yeah, it's a thing of the past. They're vanishing. But there's something to be said about driving a vehicle with a throaty V8. So, question is, of course, is this a vehicle for you? Well, probably not, because most of you guys are going to be like, I want a hybrid. I want electric. I want something that has all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering and all that other stuff. Good old-fashioned V8 like this, very different. Let's have a look-see under the hood. Once again, cranking out 472 horsepower out of this 5-liter V8. Huh. 8-speed automatic transmission, paddle shifters, powering the rear wheels like a proper sporty car should. And man, does it make a hell of a noise. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to give my mic over to my camera dude because I need you to hear how good it sounds. Have I blown your mind? I probably blew your speakers. And I'm completely okay with that because, once again, it is a dinosaur, it's a thing of the past, and yet, it is a thing of beauty. So something else that you should know about this vehicle. Back seat space, not so great. Front seat space, you do have to fall into it if you're a big fat guy like me. But, once you're in it, and once you're comfortable, it is a remarkable place to be when you're driving it. And that is what I want to show you in this video because I could tell you everything about it. But showing you, that's half the fun. So let's go for a ride. <sighs> so. You're probably asking yourself, how much does a car like this cost? 100, 150,000 maybe? $64,000, pretty much. Is that a good price? Well, compared to some vehicles, it's outstanding. Oh, you gotta watch this light up. Come on, wake up. <laughs> IS 500, there we go. And it moved over! Oh, that's so cool. There's a lady with her dog outside. Let's scare. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now it's the Sport S and Sport S Plus. Woof. Shall we take it for a little ride? I say yes. Now, if you look over here, you can see pretty good looking screen, but not a very big screen. And that was one of the many things that people complained about. I don't really mind it so much. Well, some people do. I'm going to warn you, we are in Winter Park, Colorado. In this area, well, there's a lot of potholes. So I'm going to try to avoid them getting up to a spot where I can actually stretch its legs a little bit. But it is beautiful here. And we're here for a special event that's actually run by the Rocky Mountain Automotive Press Association, or RMAP. Believe it or not, Roman and I both used to be presidents at one time. 
at our map. And it is an organization strictly for press here in the Rocky Mountain region, obviously covering Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, occasionally Nebraska. Yeah, I hear rumors that there's some people in Nebraska. And they all come together and do videos here or for the most part photography. So that's one of the reasons why we have a limited amount of time with this car, but I did get special permission to take it out onto the highway if I can just miss some of these potholes and, uh, you know, take you guys for a little run. So this is a highway right here. This actually leads to Denver. And what we're gonna do in just about 10 seconds is while we're in Sport Plus, we're gonna just unscrew the taps just a little bit, just to give you an example of what it's got. Ready? Here we go. Oh, the sound is intoxicating. Love it. Yes, I stayed under the speed limit. Of course I would. I mean, who would speed in a car that makes this type of noise? Come on. <laughs> I, as much fun as I'm having, I lament the fact that a wonderful driver's car like this, so driver-centric, gives you so much feel for what it is. I do wish it was a stick, but you know. Nonetheless, the ability to drive a car like this, drive it in anger, have a good time with it, drive it every day because it has really good reliability and enjoy it to its fullest, it's not something that's gonna be sticking around for much longer. These cars are all going away. V8s are going away especially in cars, and it's really sad. It's truly, truly sad. Yes, you guys might be like, what days are you like electric cars? Of course they do, they're fast. They can be fun. Would I rather hear this? Every day? Yeah, but I can't. So I'm gonna sign off by saying, as awesome as this vehicle is, it's a sad reminder of what this vehicle was and what other vehicles like this were. Now I'm curious in the comments below whether you guys would be willing to pawn up $64,000 for a car like this, or if you'd rather get something electric, because you certainly could get a Tesla or something like that. And I would wager that there's good reasons for both. But at the same time, man, this car just breaks my heart. And at the same time, it just makes me feel like a million bucks. In many ways, this is a sexy and kind of nasty little creature in all the right ways. Sounds really mean when you want it to. It's very good looking, I think. Beautiful color. And just hearing it, ah, absolutely fantastic. Love the bulged fenders. If you sit back here and look at it from this angle, you're gonna be able to see not only those amazing wide fenders, but this exhaust, oh yeah. Love it, love it. This vehicle has a lot to offer. And yes, you could put two golf bags back there, but not a whole lot more. But as I said before, it really is the end of an era. This is a vehicle that won't exist in five years. And I don't just mean this, I mean all V8s that power a car, a sedan. They're just not gonna be here. All electric, hybrid, I don't know, fart power, who knows? I'm a little depressed about it, depressed. I'm a little displeased and depressed. I just made a new word, congratulations, Nathan. I'm depressed about this vehicle. And at the end of the day, for its price, I still think it's a bargain. Yeah, you can easily get close to 70 with one of these, but still, but still for what it is, absolutely fantastic well done lexus i wish you would keep making them this is nathan i'll see you guys next time ciao